That's the only reason it's not already in the Oh yeah, top for us to We're using this one to search, so we can come get more, because there's more than a couple of Yeah, you get paid for oh. more for attending. Depending on how, how good of an attendee you were, you get one more. So um, basically what we're doing tonight is we're doing an intro, or uh, Travis is doing an intro into using Clips for Android. Um, the main purpose of this is to show you how to set it up on your machines. Are we logging into Lab 200 or Lab 204? It doesn't really matter. I, I think I just did Lab 200 for. Let's do Lab 200. Well, that way we'll have all. Because I'm assuming over here Lab 200 is not used. people in this room ah. as much tend to think that's that what I was Lab 200 won't work in this room. For some that's kind of what we were thinking. That way it would be like Very we kind of have our own. That. User, but not really. Um, I'll go log off again. Okay. <laughs> Blue screen? Oh boy. Okay, um, so we're going to do an intro into using Clips for Android development. The key thing in here is to show you how to set it up on your machine. It's the majority of the time it's going to be taking, uh, uh, we're going to use. So, just like there's certain things you have to do to make sure that it works with like paths and such. So, we're going to do that, and then Travis is going to lead us through an example. And if there's time, we'll talk about future mug hug ideas. Uh, Dr. White, myself, and Dr. Allen came up with quite a few. Actually, it's mostly you guys, but um, we came up with a... Two. Yeah, mostly. That, that's two out of three. <laughs> um, um, ideas of, of upcoming events, and we wanted to know your feedback. So without further ado, let's try. All right, first of all, is everyone logged in? OK, everyone's like, all right. First, I'm going to go to your shortcuts folder. It's going to be up there on the left hand corner. Go to the Eclipse shortcut. And go ahead and get that opening. It'll take a second to load up. Uh, all these have the Android SDK kind of on them already. Click OK just for the default workspace. Uh, and then, whenever it finishes loading, you should see this. If you don't see this, raise a hand. Not there yet. Not there yet. Right. When you yeah. get there, if you don't see this, and correct me if I'm wrong, but this step that we're up to on your own computer, you basically yes. that's when you install from. This is yeah. This is when you get to the you downloaded the SDK, and these already have one of the the SDK like setup download on it, and then it'll ask you for one, we're going to leave it, clicked on install the latest version, click next, and it doesn't really matter if you send your usage statistics to me, but you send or not, but you go ahead and send them because it helps them out, you know people are using it on it. And it'll take a few seconds to download. I don't recommend doing this at home on a slow, uh, <laughs> slow internet connection because that few seconds takes 20 or 30 minutes. Um, go ahead and accept all for the revisions or the latest version and install those. And this takes longer than 20 to 30 minutes on the So I shouldn't do this on that one. <laughs> yes, you should uh, do it on your laptop and then take it home to install from your laptop to other computers. Definitely don't use dial. <laughs> Good rule of thumb in general. Yeah, unless you're in 1950s, then dial-up's amazing. Yeah, so I don't think dial-up was around with you. Yes, exactly. exactly. Okay. I was trying to go that far back. Yeah. So it's yeah. pretty far back. Hey, 1990 dial-up is not pretty nice. Mm -hmm. All right. Is everyone here where you've got a nice Java yeah. clip? Just give me a thumbs up. Everyone, we're good. I got it. Thumbs up. Awesome. Jeff, you're not good. Are you there? I'm good. Thank you. I'm good. Good. Okay. So, first step to running any sort of thing, you want to get to go to Window and Android SDK Manager because for some reason our lovely download doesn't give you this system image, which is what you're going to need to create your Android emulator. Go ahead and get the APIs for 
Google. Thank you. 